All right, I want you to try something for a second. Take a deep breath and just sit there, doing nothing for 10 seconds. No background music, no distractions, no talking, just pure silence. Go on, give it a shot. I'll wait. So, how did that feel? Bet you noticed that silence isn't actually silent. There's a weird, almost buzzing feeling to it, like your ears are straining to pick up something. In fact, sometimes silence can feel so loud, it's almost deafening. But what's going on here? Why does silence, the supposed absence of sound, feel so intense? Turns out when you strip away all the noises around you, your brain goes into overdrive, trying to fill in the gaps. Silence, it seems, isn't really silent at all. So what makes silence so loud? Let's dive into the science, psychology, and a bit of weird brain trickery that explain why silence can feel almost like a symphony of sound. The first thing you need to know is that silence messes with your brain. Normally, your ears are bombarded with a constant stream of background noise, traffic, people talking, the hum of electronics. You might not consciously notice it, but your brain is always processing these sounds. When all that noise disappears, your brain doesn't just take a break. Nope, it actually goes into hyperdrive. Here's why. Your brain is wired to seek patterns and make sense of the world. It's designed to process input, and when there's none, it sort of panics. Without external sound, your auditory system starts turning up the volume on itself, listening super carefully for any hint of noise. This heightened sensitivity is why complete silence can feel almost pressurized, like your ears are straining to pick up something, anything. In fact, if you're in a perfectly silent environment, your brain might even create phantom sounds just to fill the void. You might hear a faint ringing, a low buzzing, or even what sounds like your own heartbeat pounding away. This is a phenomenon known as auditory gain. Your brain's trying to make up for the lack of external sound by amplifying internal signals. So when silence gets too quiet, your brain basically cranks up its own volume knob, making silence feel almost deafening. Now, you might be thinking, okay, but what am I actually hearing in silence? Great question. Believe it or not, that eerie, almost ringing sensation you get when it's super quiet. That's your own body. When there's no outside noise to distract you, you start to pick up on all the tiny, subtle sounds inside you. Blood rushing through your veins, your heartbeat, maybe even the slight hum of your nervous system firing away. It's like being trapped in a concert where your body is the only instrument playing. In extreme cases, like those anechoic chambers that are designed to absorb every possible sound, you can even hear your bones creaking as you move. People who've spent time in these rooms describe the experience as unsettling, sometimes even unbearable. Because the silence is so intense, it becomes overwhelming. The longer you sit in absolute silence, the more your brain starts to amplify these internal sounds, making silence feel louder than a rock concert. And then there's the not-so-fun phenomenon of tinnitus. If you've ever noticed a high-pitched ringing in your ears when it's really quiet, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Tinnitus is when you hear a noise that isn't actually there, usually a ringing, buzzing, or hissing sound. For some people, it's barely noticeable, but for others, it can be really annoying. And guess what makes it worse? Silence. Why? Because tinnitus is thought to be caused by overactive neurons in the auditory cortex, the part of your brain that processes sound. When there's no external sound to focus on, your brain starts hearing these internal signals instead. It's like turning up the brightness on a TV screen until you start noticing all the static pixels. That's why people with tinnitus often prefer having a little background noise, like a fan or music, because it drowns out the internal noise their brain keeps playing. So if silence ever feels like it's ringing in your ears, that's your brain trying to fill the silence with whatever it's got lying around. It's not just biology making silence feel intense, it's also psychological. For most of us, complete silence is rare. We live in a noisy world where there's always some kind of background chatter. So when all that noise goes away, your brain isn't just dealing with a lack of sound, it's also dealing with a sudden lack of distraction. Silence forces you to confront your thoughts, your emotions, and all the stuff you usually push to the back of your mind. That's why silence can feel loud, not because of sound, but because it's magnifying the mental noise you usually ignore. 
Studies show that people often find silence uncomfortable because it makes time feel slower and heightens their awareness of themselves. Think about it. When you're sitting in silence, you become super aware of every little itch, every thought, every awkward feeling. It's like turning up the mental volume on everything. No wonder people reach for their phones the moment there's a lull in a conversation. There's another angle to this too. Evolution. Throughout history, silence wasn't something humans encountered very often. When our ancestors heard silence in the wild, it often meant something. Like a predator sneaking up or an ambush waiting to happen. Even today, our brains are wired to associate silence with threats. If you've ever been alone at night in a quiet, unfamiliar place, you know the feeling, the hairs on the back of your neck standing up, your ears straining to pick up the slightest sound. It's because your brain interprets complete silence as a signal that something might be wrong, making every little noise seem amplified. In short, silence triggers a primal response telling you, hey, something's off here, stay alert. It's no wonder silence feels so loud when your brain is practically yelling at you to be cautious.